Hi! Welcome back to Art with Sara Lee. Thank you guys so much for tuning in last week. We heard from a lot of you that you enjoyed our project and we are so excited to bring you a new project this week. A very special shout out to some people. Miss Violet in Texas. We got to see her sunflowers and her awesome blue ladybugs. Miss Ada in New York and her egg carton caterpillars. And a great thank you to Jim, Myla, and Mila for subscribing. Y'all, today we bring to you sketchbooks, but I can't bring you anything until I bring in my fabulous assistant, Miss Marlo. Do you want to come join us? Uh-huh. All right. Everybody, my fabulous assistant, Miss Marlo. I thought I would never be in this. Hey, so do you have a sketchbook? Um, yes, I have lots, but I almost never use them, but I use some of them all the time. Right on. Could you I tell me? I love sketching. You do? Mm -hmm. Do you sketch with all kinds of stuff? Mm -hmm. I sketch pens, markers, anything. Oh, great. Even sharpies. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, do you or could you tell me somebody in history who had a great sketchbook? Yes, I can. I can tell you Albert Einstein, Frida Kahlo, and someone else, but I can't remember him. Um, does his name start with an L? Um, he was a really great artist in the Renaissance. Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. There you go, Leonardo da Vinci. Oh my God. <laughs> so Miss Marlowe has given us some great examples of people in history who had wonderful sketchbooks. Albert Einstein, um, Leonardo da Vinci, also, who was the other? Frida Kahlo? Yep, Frida Kahlo. And there are so many other people. There are, there's Edward Hopper, Van Gogh, uh, Eugene Delacroix. I mean, the list could go on and on and on. Forever. Forever. Infinity. I brought some of my sketchbooks today to share with you. To give you an idea, I have lots of them too. And lots of different sizes. I have this small one, and I write a lot in my sketchbooks, and I draw. This small one has graph paper, and I use primarily ink in this one. This was fun and from several years back. And I like to sometimes decorate the fronts of them. This is work by Frida Kahlo. And this was used uh, on a big project. Let's see. There's a lot of research in here for a project um, for a painting about Texas. And then this is my current one. In fact, I was just sketching in this today out the studio slash garage door. And here we go. This is just in ink. Just working from the street like pen and ink. Here I am doing some samples. Here I am using some gouache, trying to figure out a pattern and pencil. Yes. And I know this sounds crazy, but to me, her drawing is out of this world. It is amazing. <laughs> My mother is good at all. I love her. <laughs> well, thanks, Betty. <laughs> I think you are amazing at art as well. She's got some great good. sketchbooks. Today, she and I are here to show you how you can make your own sketchbook out of stuff that you've got in your house. So, let's get underway. Can you hand me the first one, the big one? This is made out of pizza boxes. Yep, we've got a pizza box. Which, which last, di was last week, we accidentally went to the store and then pop, and my, then my dad, which is over there, working in his area, he got two more pizza boxes, so we had four pizza boxes that we were in store, so we have a lot of pizza box. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Um, so you might have pizza boxes at home right now. You also might have cereal boxes. But this is just a pizza box, and it's trimmed down to uh, the size of print paper. And this is just your 8.5 by 11 print paper. I used a hole punch, and I used brads to bind it. And you can also go over the brads, because they do stick out with tape. They're pokey. They are pokey. We will show you some detail later. You want to hand me the next sketchbook? It's slightly smaller. Yep, slightly smaller. And this one, we put paper and we put graph, graph paper. paper. Do you like graph paper? Yeah, I love it. Me you can too. like sketch on it and you can do half a square more than a square. It's crazy. I love it. And then the fun thing about this is your dad might have some of these in his, uh, like in the garage or maybe in his work area. Any this, color. This Any is, color. These are made with zip ties. 
Super cool. If you don't have brads, you can use zip ties. The other thing you can use is bread ties to bread bags or the vegetable ties that you get in the grocery store. You can also use ribbon from gifts, yarn, or string. And then our little tiny guy over there. Really tiny. Li really tiny and it, it smells really good. Why does it smell good? Because da 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 da, it's from a Irish soapbox that my dad used. Because I don't use bar soap, but he does, and my mom just told me that. I didn't even know it. So this is made from an Irish spring soapbox. So a little tiny sketchbook if you need a sketchbook on the go. All right, we also have some other really awesome sketchbooks that can be used as journals as well. So we'd like to give a shout out to Miss Megan because this is one we learned how to make from her. This is just cardstock and it's print paper and it's cut about, uh, about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch smaller than the cardstock and we just use the stapler to put it together. And then we have a matchbook sketchbook and this is, uh, You've, it's a long, kind of the horizontal piece of paper, cut long. This is just your um, scrapbook paper card stock, um, the 12 by 12 squares. So this is, and then it's folded in and then just stapled. And then it closes like a matchbook. And then our last one, Miss Marlowe invented. Would you like to show them that? Which I just did it this afternoon and it is only made with tape. Um, sticky notes and a piece of paper, which this is it. And you just fold this back and and there you go. There you go. All right. We're going to lay out our supplies next. All right. So the supplies you're going to need for doing sketchbooks are we've got a variety of different types of cardboard. We, oh, and some ticky tack. Pizza box. Um, and here I have cereal box. Um, you could also, last week for the sunflower gardens, we used the side of soda box. And so this sketchbook is made from the side of a soda box. You can use that. And like I said earlier, you can use a soap box. So we've got our cardboard. You're going to need um, a mat knife or scissors to cut. And so kiddos, Probably your parents are going to need to cut this. Some of you who are older, because um, everybody needs a sketchbook, you might be able to do this on your own with scissors. Um, if you're not, ask your mom or dad to help you, your grandma, your aunt, whoever is around. Um, pencil. We've got some duct tape. I like really colorful duct tape. Um, I've got a straight edge. We've got printing paper, and we have graph paper, and it already actually has holes in it. We've got a couple of different types of hole punches. We've got one that's got the three hole punch. And then I also have this guy. I love this guy, little tiny guy. I think I might have gotten this at Walmart. It's a great little hole punch. We've got long brads, short brads. Um, if you don't have brads, you can use pipe cleaners. And again, you can use vegetable ties or bread bag ties. You can even use key rings. Um, and we have zip ties as demonstrated in our zip tie sketchbook. And we also have string because you can also bind it that way. All right, and those are our supplies for uh, these three types of sketchbooks. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna use the cereal box to make our sketchbook, okay? And if you'll notice, I've just taken this, the bottom and the top, I've just cut them away and you are left with a really nice hinged piece of cardboard. So I'm going to put those two together so the hinges, they kind of match one another. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna take our paper and I am going to put that, oh, and you know what? We are right on it. I mean, I am just gonna have to cut a little bit off of the cardboard. So I'm gonna move this to the side move this to the side okay so I'm gonna add it's just about maybe not even a quarter of an inch and I know that not everybody will have a straight edge you could use another piece of cardboard you can eyeball it um, and just you know uh, use um, 
well another piece of cardboard <laughs> I'm gonna use I've got a straight edge so we're gonna go go with that I also have a mat knife um, this is my craft table so I am not really concerned what uh, scarring I mean clearly I've got lots of paint um, but you definitely want to put a piece of cardboard underneath it and I'm just gonna score that a couple of times and go right through there and then go right through the other side and again, you can cut this with scissors. This is really, a, so if you want to draw your line out, you could just cut it just like that. In fact, oh my gosh, look at that. We could make a sketchbook out of that if we wanted to. So I've got my paper cut. I mean, I've got my cardboard cut and I have my paper here. And I'm going to take the rest of this stack. And we are going to come in here and we're going to draw our space for our holes and I'm going to take my hole punch and this is probably about 10 sheets right here which is not too bad to punch through so I've done that and now I'm going to go back with this I'm going to line that up on the cardboard and I'm going to mark the cardboard for where I want the holes. Okay, I'll take that. There we go. And I'm going to need my trusty assistant to come by. Can you come on over, trusty assistant? Yay! <laughs> We're going to mark this. And I'm going to have you put the brads in. Okay, buddy? So again, I've marked the second piece, the back. I'm going to slip that in there. Okay. I'm going to put these together. And Miss Marlow, if you could, there we go, match the holes up. I'm going to hand that off to you if you would like to put the brads in. Okay. Are the tall ones or the short ones? Let's do the short ones because it's thin. You want to do that? And then while you're putting those brads in, I'm going to show everybody a sketchbook that I've made. So, I made this one, and this is also made out of cereal boxes. And in fact, I've got lots of notes in here for um, art that I teach. And I covered the brads with duct tape, which is really great because that way it keeps the pointy, pointy side out of your way. It doesn't poke or, or, or pinch or, or anything. Um, the nice thing about not taping it is we can always take the brads off and you can always add more paper to it so you can make your sketchbook a little bit bigger. Okay, so with that done, how are you doing there? Good. Alrighty, you want to, let's pull that over here. Let me just do one more. Okay. Pull all of this over. So while she is putting in that last brad, I'm going to... Let's see. Oh, here they are. So the process would be done the same for the soapbox. You would cut the soapbox apart and then you would cut your paper to fit, punch your holes, and put your brads in. You got your brads in? Oh, yeah. Awesome. And so there we go. And the nice thing about the cereal boxes is there's that scored um, or your corner, the side, and it just allows for it to fold back. So there we go. All right, high five. Oh wait, elbow, right? At this time and point in our reality. So we've got that. Now, if you don't have brads, you can use the zip ties. And they go in, let's see. Where's my, oh. We're gonna zip tie this guy. So I've pre-cut my pizza box. I've got my holes. We're gonna line that paper up. Wait, where's the zip tie? They're, they're on this side, sweetheart. Hold on just a sec. There we go. I'm going to line that up and I will give you a zip tie. And let's see. Let me get that in there. Oh, and you know what? I'll make an example of the pipe cleaner. Awesome. And then you can stay so. Yeah. And you can leave that and you might not want to do it so. No, that's great actually. Um, you can also face it to the back. The tighter you get it, the harder it is to turn. So you just want to give yourself a little leeway to be able to turn the page. The other thing is you can do 
This actually will fit in this other zip tie. When you're using a zip tie or a pipe cleaner, close that. You can take this, and if you take your straight edge and you come down the side, and you draw a nice line, put in a little, little elbow grease into that line, it scores it. So then you can open your sketchbook up and you don't have to worry about opening on the zip tie. Okay? So there's a zip tie. We would have another one in there. All right. Oh, don't have so, yeah. And you can also, well, here we go. <laughs> I'll show you the pipe cleaner trick. I would go around twice with the pipe cleaner. And then you can twist it shut. And pipe cleaners are great because actually, you know what? Scissors will cut pipe cleaners. And you can tape over the pipe cleaner if you'd like. And again, as long as you score that, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Messy, messy place. All right, so we're going to clean this up, and then we're going to show you how to do matchbooks. All righty. We are back, and we are doing, what are we doing? We're doing matchbooks, medium-sized matchbooks. Medium sized matchbook sketchbooks. Okay, and so that's here we've got a matchbook sketchbook and it is made with cardstock and graph paper and our stapler. And oh, there's already a drawing in there. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Awesome, awesome sauce. All right, so this um, again, you need uh, cardstock or 12 by 12 um, scrapbook paper, um, and the dimensions are 12 by, let's just measure this really quick, 12 by 4, okay? So what I've done is I have pre-cut a piece. This is 4 inches wide and it's 12 inches long. So inside of this, you want your, and we're using graph paper, and I've pre-cut it, and your measurements, do you want your measurements to be 5 and a quarter by 3 and a half? And it's going to fit real sweetly right inside of there okay again I've got just this tiny little border around the side I've got my graph paper I have my cardstock the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cardstock and I'm going to measure in an inch using my straight edge measure in an inch and I marked that and then I folded on that and then I took this end and I fold it in, leaving about a quarter of an inch right there. So it just doesn't come flush. I don't know if you can see that. I don't go to the very end. I've just got a little bit. And I'll show you why. Because we are going to, do you want to grab the stapler? We're going to take the graph paper and we tuck it right into there. And do you want to give me a quick staple? Right there? Mm-hmm. There's one. Oop, let's do that a little. There we go. Got a little elbow grease. All right, and that side. Nice. And then, this is why we left that little bitty bit. This folds up and it tucks in. And there you have what? A matchbook. Medium sized matchbook. Also, it looks like a little secret book. You just have staples there and no one knows how to open it. Secret. Nobody knows maybe, how to open it. Because maybe they haven't watched this video. This is true. All right. Double bump. Next sketchbook. All right. We are back. Uh, Miss Marlowe, what so, are you going to tell us about? We're going to do, it's not really a matchbook. Oh, wait. Who do we have here? Oh. <laughs> I think she wants to join the, the sketchbook making. This is Eloise. And she likes to call on the table. Now she's in the game. I don't like that. This is our uh, one of our other family members. All right, sugar bear. Let's put you down. You gotta go. Okay. Allie. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to need is sticky notepads, and they always have to not face, um, like, sticking on one side, then the other side, like a jig jack. There you um, go. You Move. need one just like that. That flips through? Yeah. Okay. Flips through. Don't jiggy jackety whatever and then see this 
pull that off that's going to be then you need a piece of paper just like that any kind but you need it to be just like that kind can of i kind. ask you a question yeah did you cut that piece of paper down to match this pad yes a little okay. off but that's what i wanted to okay and so then, what do we do next then you need tape and here here's how we're going to start it so you see this piece of paper it's always going to be on there or it's not and there's always a sticky piece so just peel that off okay and then you see this is sticky yeah it's sticky and then if you put it this way nice and then then see closes oh yeah but you still need something so it doesn't flip like that so you take a piece of tape Then you flip it, just like that, on the other side. Okay. And then you put that right there. And you want to, let's turn this so they can see. Oh gosh, so wait, you, you don't put, put it right like there. there yet. Um, but before you put it on there, oopsies, that just fell. Before you put it on there, um, you have to make a tinier one. That's tiny enough to fit in the circle. So it stays flat, which none of my parents knew until I did that one day. My dad is over there. He didn't even know it. And then put that down. Sticks right there. Okay. Let's just quickly Seems close like that. Seems like fingers are sticky too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So then you close that. And then... And then do we score this side or do you fold it? We score it. it. Yeah, Here we go. Let's it. get our... Oh gosh. Miss, okay. Miss Eloise wants to help with our straight... Straight there you go. Do you want that? No, it's fine. It's okay. Fine. So then you mash the ends up. You can do it both ways. It's like a little, a little bud. Yeah. Awesome. Stick it. Okay. And so is that our post-it note sketchbook? And that's our little post-it note sketchbook. Lovely. Okay. We are back for the last and final sketchbook, and this is a special one. We'd like to give a big shout out to Miss Megan because she is the one who taught us how to make this one, and it's awesome. And it is super simple, and it's cardstock and print paper. You could use graph paper or whatever you'd like in there, and the binding is done with a stapler. So, what you'll need for this is um, cardstock. You could use construction paper. Um, solid paper. This is a uh, scrapbooking paper, and we've got some printer paper. Again, mat knife or scissors, a pencil, a straight edge, and a stapler. So what I've done is I have gone ahead and pre-cut my scrapbook paper, and I've cut it into a rectangle that is let's see that's eight inches by five and three quarters. Okay, eight inches by five and three quarters. And then I took my print paper and I cut it. Oh, Miss Eloise is gonna help us here. With, <laughs> She's just walking over the table. Let's see, I cut it seven and three quarters by five and a half. So what we've been talking about, and I'm gonna show you this here, is I have just a tiny edge all the way around okay and, and again that. you can use the mat knife you can also use your pizza box as a surface to cut on or you can use scissors alrighty so we've got our paper and we've got the outer cover and what we're going to do is we're gonna fold well, first we're gonna fold our paper in half Kind of give us an idea of where that center line is and we're going to fold the cover in half okay and so we've got an idea of where that center line is now we're going to take this and i'm going to feed this in here and i'm going to you know what it's going to need it to be folded just you're going to might have to fold it to put it into the staple the stapler. All right, you want to give me a good staple there? It's feeding time. Okay, there we go. We're just going to move that down. We're going to staple again on the center. Okay, all righty. We're going to pull that out. We're going to fold that back. 
and boom, a Megan journal. My journal. I'm a girl. <laughs> All right. Call so, again. just really quickly to review, because we did do this with prepped. We have a smaller one. Oh boy. <gasps> oh my gosh! I didn't even know you planned for this. There we go. Surprise! So <laughs> this one is cut, and again, this is just um, the scrapbook cardstock, and this is cut six inches by three inches, and our printing paper just your regular average Joe printing paper. You could also use recycled paper, y'all. You could put, um, um, if you've got like printing paper that has something on one side, you could use the blank side on the other side. And this is cut two and a half by, let's see, five and a quarter. And we're going to fold this in half. We're folding our printing paper in half. And then we're going to fold our cardstock in half so we know where it fits in. And then we're going to slide this into the stapler. There and you, you don't have to fold this one because it's very tiny. It's tiny. There we go. Whoops. Oh, oopsies. Yeah, you got that second click. And then we do that one. Oh, are we on it? There we are. And we fold that. Oh, and look at that little tiny awesome sketchbook journal. Megan journal. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> All right. So, guys, that we've got your one. What? What are we? What did we call those? The Megan journals. Two. So we've got Megan Three journals. journals. We have the matchbook sketchbooks. We have Eloise. We have Eloise book, which is just actually Eloise. We've got a zip tie. Pizza box book. This is Eloise sketchbook. This is the Eloise book. We also have your soap box with Brad's sketchbook, small zip tie sketchbook, and last but not least, we've got your cereal box with the Brad's. And just in case I didn't mention it, to go back to the Brad's, you can always cover your Brad's with really colorful duct tape. Oh. And oh. we have the journal on me. Oh, yeah, and right we have here. the post-it journal, the post-it sketchbook post-it journal. All right. Oh, whoops. Is that? Okay, there we go. There's the front. Yeah. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Are we going to be back next week with another activity? Yes. And um, before we say goodbye, I'm going to get my dad and Eloise. Oh, gosh. Call me up. A quick review. So, who out there had amazing sketchbooks? Leonardo da Vinci, Albert Einstein, Mar uh, Madame Curie, Edward Hopper. There are so many sketchbooks out there. And if you Google or look up on your computer famous artists and sketchbooks, there are lots of websites that will give you an example. I'm not where sure where my fabulous assistant went, but it's time to say goodnight. Y'all stay safe, stay well, and remember, navigate with grace. Bye!